Tadeusz Cizaki, the 28th of August 1765 in Poric, Volhynia, the 8th of February 1813 in Dubno, was a Polish historian, pedagogue, and numismatist. Cizaki played an important part in the Enlightenment in Poland. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> 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 Cizaki was born in Poric in Volhynia, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, now Pavlipka in Ukraine. When Prince Adam Zartoryski was placed at the head of the educational district of Vilnius, Cizaki was appointed school inspector of Volhynia, Podolia, and the Ukraine. An opponent of the Jesuits, he combated their work in the field of pedagogy, and on one occasion raised by public subscription the sum of two millions of Polish florins to ensure the existence of the gymnasiums in Vinitsa and Kiev. In 1805 he founded the high school in Kremenets, Volhynia the Lyceum Chrysomenieki. After Cizaki's death his heart was deposited in one of the halls of this Volhynian school, under the inscription, Ubi thesaurus tus, Ibi est cor tum. Where your treasury lies, there lies your heart. He discovered what was thought at the time to be the grave of Copernicus, however, controversy over its location continued long afterwards. He also was a panel member of the Kamisha Edukacji Narodowe, founded by Stanislaw August Poniatowski in 1773 and considered to be the world's first ministry of education. From 1786 to 1792 he worked for the Polish Commission of the Treasury and was responsible for supervising Jewish affairs in the country. During this time and afterwards, he worked for the emancipation of Jews in Poland. Exemption from the poll tax was granted in 1775 to those who would apply themselves to agriculture, and by 1787, owing to Cizaki's efforts while in the Treasury see his report of 1787 on the Ruthenian and Ukrainian provinces, he had the satisfaction of seeing a few scores of families enjoying that privilege. Furthermore, he co-wrote the Constitution of 3 May 1791, and founded the Towarzystu Przyjaciel Nauk Society of Friends of Science. In 1786 he was awarded the Order of St. Stanislaus, and in 1792 the Order of the White Eagle. Writings Cizaki's Rose Prawa o Zydek Discourse on the Jews, first published in Wilna 1807, and translated into Russian by Basil Anastasevich, passed through several editions, and was published finally in Gila Tadeusza Cizakiego Works of Tadeusz Cizaki, edited by Edward Raczynski, Posen, 1845 e. 138-270. For the history of the Jewish institutions, Cizaki, who did not know Hebrew, availed himself of the only sources open to him, namely, Bartolochi and Ugolino. After relating the early history of the Jews, Cizaki describes their situation among the Arabs, Italians, Spaniards, French, Germans, and Hungarians. He tells of their entrance into Poland in the 12th century, of their intellectual condition, of their government and laws, and of the persecutions to which they were subjected. He also wrote a short discourse on the Karet Gila Tadeusza Cizakiego, e. 271-285 which attempts to explain, on the basis of the sources accessible to the author and referred to above, what the Karet are, and wherein they chiefly differ from other Jews, when their separation occurred, and in what countries they dwell. Skies, who himself had been interested in Lithuanian language published a work on law in a two volumes about Lithuanian and Polish laws, their spirit, their origins and about things discussed in the first Lithuanian statute of the year 1529 Polish, o Litewskich i Polskich Prawach, o ik duchu, srodlach, zwiaska i o urzazak zawartik w pierwizm statusi dla Litwi 1529 roku, explaining differences of the two nations within the former Commonwealth. See also History of philosophy in Poland List of Poles <laughs>